Hello, welcome to the last video of this section. Understanding of vCenter server high availability, which is also known as VCHA. In this video, we are going to take a look at overview of VCHA, components of VCHA, and architecture of VCHA. What is VCHA? vCenter Server High Availability As the name says, High Availability of a vCenter Server In our earlier scenarios, we did not have this feature available. We had a vCenter Server for the management interface. It did not have any kind of high availability feature or any kind of redundancy available. By any chance, if vCenter goes down, you do not have management capability for your virtual environment. But starting from 6.5 and when we have appliance based virtual center, we have vCenter high availability feature available. Now you can have multiple virtual centers in your environment and one server will be as active and another server will be as a passive. Components of VCHA We have active node, passive node and witness node. Active node will be run as active instance and it enables the use of public IP interface. It means that you have two virtual centers. One is running as active, another is running as a passive. The active node will be a active instance of that virtual center. When you are accessing that virtual center, that will go to the active server. Passive node. It runs the passive instance and also receives the updates from active node in synchronous mode. It is equivalent to the active node in terms of resources and take over the role of active node by any chance if vCenter goes fail. If your vCenter has some issue which is currently running as an active node that will fail over to the passive node and passive will become active and your users will be able to access the vCenter server same as they were doing earlier. And the last component we have witness node which helps during the split brain scenario which arises during the network partition and it doesn't take over the role of active or passive node. vCenter server high availability architecture. We have active node, passive node. On active node we have two nets as a ethernet 0 and ethernet 1. And in passive node also we have two necks. One is as a Ethernet 0 and another one is Ethernet 1. Third one we have witness node. In witness node we have one neck as a Ethernet 1. Now Ethernet 1 of active and Ethernet 1 of passive will communicate within the private network to the witness node. And the Ethernet 0 which will communicate with the vCenter server clients and vCenter servers and whichever will be the active node at this moment will work as a management network whereas the passive network will be currently in a passive mode and between the vCenter server appliance active and passive we have synchronous db replication and asynchronous file replication so active will sync all the updates and data to the passive so that in any case if active goes fail passive can become an active node. So that's all about the vCenter high availability. And that's the end of this section. Now we are moving to the next section in which we will cover the configure virtual networking. We have already gone through with the ESXi host, virtual center 
and now we'll come to know that how we can establish the communication between the virtual infrastructure and physical infrastructure we use virtual networking between that so in next section we'll go through with this thank you stay tuned